so a brief primer and perspective on international law as it may relate to present day conflicts in the world. If we review chapter six, I have the Charter of the United Nations right here in my hand. If we review, if we turn to chapter number six of the Charter, Pacific Settlement of Disputes, Article 33 makes it clear the parties to any dispute, the continuance of which is likely to endanger the maintenance of international peace and security, shall first of all seek a resolution by negotiation, inquiry, mediation, conciliation, arbitration, judicial settlement, resort to regional agencies or arrangements or other peaceful means of their own choice. And the Security Council may call upon the parties to settle their dispute by such means, which is peaceful means. And the Security Council may investigate any dispute, any situation that might lead to international friction or to give rise to dispute. In order to determine whether the continuance of such a dispute is likely to endanger the maintenance of international peace and security. And, but however, if we turn to chapter 7 and article 51, nothing in the present charter shall impair, nothing in the present charter shall impair the inherent right of individual or collective self-defense if an armed attack against, if an armed attack occurs against a member of the United Nations. So basically, now member states have a self a right to self-defense. Russia is a member of the United Nations and a member of the Security Council. So can Russia make the argument that Russia Russia can Russia claim that they're acting in self-defense? If you say that, can Ukraine claim any basically defense? Uh, that, that Ukraine is acting in self-defense. Basically, the United Nations Charter outlaws armed conflict, but it does not prohibit an individual nation, or, I mean a sovereign state, from acting in self-defense. Or basically, regional security arrangements, um, basically, basically uh, based preserving peace and for self-defense. Article 51 says, again, uh, if we read it, the text, nothing in the present charter shall impair the inherent right of individual or collective self-defense if an armed attack occurs against a member of the United Nations until the Security Council has taken measures necessary to maintain international peace and security. Regional arrangements. If a chapter eight states talks about regional arrangements, so this is another thing we were briefly touching upon, Article 52 of Chapter 8, nothing in the present charter precludes the existence of regional arrangements or agencies for dealing with such matters <clears throat> relating to the maintenance of international peace and security as are appropriate for regional action, provided that such arrangements or agencies and their activities are consistent with the purposes and the principles of the United Nations. The Security Council shall encourage the development of, of the Pacific settlement of local disputes through such regional arrangements, whereby such regional agencies, either on the initiative of the states concerned, were by reference from the Security Council. <clears throat> the Security Council shall at all times be kept fully informed of activities undertaken or in contemplation under regional arrangements or by regional agencies for the maintenance of international peace and security. So the, uh, in accordance so the United Nations Charter outlaws all forms of armed conflict, save for the preservation of, of save for immediate self-defense or the collective defense of international peace and security, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. <clears throat> 